Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up this fantastic looking theme on Windows 10. To start off with, first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you'll end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page you need to press download and we need to go save file. You now need to click on the other link that's in the description below and you end up on a page that looks like this to download Ultra UX Theme Patcher. You need to now click on this button here and you need to go save file. Once you have finished downloading that you now need to run the setup file and we're going to go yes. You now need to go next, I accept, next. I agree and we need to go install if your status is saying not patched. As you can see it is creating a system restore point so if anything goes wrong we can restore our system. Once that's finished installing we can now go next and we need to restart our machine. Just leave reboot now selected, make sure you've saved everything and hit finish. Once your computer is finished restarting, you now need to go to your downloads folder. And once you're in your downloads folder, you need to right click on the plastic.zip folder and right click and we're going to go extract here. Once you've extracted the folder, you now need to go in the plastic folder and we need to go to visual style. And we now need to select the version of our Windows. If you're running build 1703 or 1607 to find this out, you need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and right click and go to system. Once you're in system, it'll tell you here the version you're running. As you can see, I'm running version 1703. If I now close that down and go into build 1703, and copy all the contents in that folder and you now need to go to your C drive we then need to go to Windows and we need to go to resources then we need to go to themes and we need to right click and paste everything in here and we need to just press continue Once that's finished pasting, we can now run the plastic.fema file. And as you can see, it's now set in the theme. And there you go, as you can see, it's now set the theme. If I just minimize the screen for a second, as you can see, my Windows Explorer has changed. Which is great, that means the theme is working fantastic at the moment. Next, we want to set up Rain Meter. To do this, we need to go back onto our Internet Explorer or Firefox, depending on what you're using, and we need to type in Rain Meter. The link is in the description below. Once you're on the page, you now need to press Download Final, and we want to go Save File. Once that's finished downloading, we want to run the setup file. and we want to go OK and we want to install the standard installation and we want to just press install once that's finished installing we now want to click on finish and we need to go back to our folder in our downloads our plastic folder and we need to go into this rain meter folder once you're in here, we now need to copy everything that's in this folder. And we want to go to our C drive. We now want to go to our program files. And we want to go to Rain Meter. If you install Rain Meter in a different location, then go to that location. Once you're in your Rain Meter location, we now need to go to our plugins. And we need to right click and go paste and we want to go continue. 
Once you've done this, we actually need to go back into this plugins folder. We need to press Control and X and go back and we just want to paste that in there. As we don't actually need to have a plugins folder there, we want to press replace files in destination. And we can just delete this plugins folder. Once you've done that, we now need to run this plastic.rm skin file. And we want to go install. If we right click on this welcome to rain meter and now go to manage skin, we can actually press unload and it just get rid of that screen for us. If we now press close and if you don't want all this up in the top right hand corner, we can do the same again by right clicking, going to manage skin and pressing unload. And that is it when it comes to setting up this theme. As you can see, it really does look nice. It gives Windows 10 a nice feel to it. It does feel different. You can also have your bottom taskbar hidden if you want by right clicking taskbar settings. And then if we press automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. If you're using a tablet, you can press tablet mode as well and if we just close that down now as you can see our taskbar disappears when we're not using it and if we hover down there it'll pop back up again which makes windows look even nicer because it means you've got a really big desktop i hope you did enjoy this tutorial if you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials